So Zen 3 is coming in just a few weeks and the latest benchmarks of AMD's Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs have finally appeared on SciSoft's Android database, which includes the Zen 3 base Ryzen 9 5950X, the Ryzen 9 5900X, and the Ryzen 7 5800X. All three CPUs were tested in the benchmark and show vast improvements over their predecessors based on the Zen 2 core architecture. The AMD Ryzen 5000 desktop CPUs had appeared on online retailers, including Amazon, for pre-orders. Now the same chips have been benchmarked within the SciSoft Sandra database, giving us a better look at the general performance improvements that they can carry over from the Zen 2 based Ryzen 3000 predecessors. Now the benchmarks were spotted by Tomb Apisac, and it appears that all three CPUs were tested by the same source, and since they were tested on the MSI MEG X570 Unified Motherboard, means that we can at least say they're consistent and very much comparable. Now there are two tests in which performance was measured between the Ryzen 5000 and the Ryzen 3000 series desktop CPUs. These include the Processor Arithmetic or GOPS or G-O-P-S and Processor Multimedia registered in MPix per second test. Now the benchmarks were compiled into charts by Hirokaze 5719, which gives us a much better comparison between the Ryzen 5000 series and each of the Ryzen 3000 series predecessors. So thank you for him for putting those charts together, which we'll use his charts and link to him down in the comments, the description, somewhere down there. We'll link to that so that you can go see his. So rather than making our own, we're giving him full credit on those, but we do have them. Now for the processor arithmetic test, the Ryzen 9 5950X is around 9% faster than the Ryzen 9 3950X, while the Ryzen 9 5900X is around 18% faster than the Ryzen 9 3900X, and that leaves the Ryzen 5 5800 around 20% faster than the Ryzen 7 3800X. Now the 10 to 20% average improvement in arithmetic test shows the stronger IPC lead for Ryzen 5000 series over last generation Ryzen 3000 lineup. Now moving over to the processor multimedia or MPix per second test, here we see a vast improvement in CPU performance where the Ryzen 9 5950X is 25% faster than the Ryzen 9 3950X and the Ryzen 9 5900X is up to 35% faster than the Ryzen 9 3900X and even outpaces the Ryzen 9 3950X in this test. Lastly, the Ryzen 7 5800X is an insane 42% ahead of its predecessor, the Ryzen 7 3800X. It even comes close to the 12-core Ryzen 9 3900X. The AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs, codenamed Vermeer, will be launching on the 5th of November. The launch lineup will include the 12-core Ryzen 9 5900X, the 8-core Ryzen 7 5800X, and the 6-core Ryzen 5 5600X. All 500 series motherboards, so X570, B550, and A520, will be receiving BIOS updates to support the next generation lineup with 400 series boards coming sometime around January 2021. Now before we wrap up and head out, I do have a question of you, the audience. So in, over on the site, I do performance comparisons of new games when they come out, and I do use the X570 test system as my test bench. So it's right over there. I'm pointing at it, you can't really see it from here. But right now it has my Ryzen 9 3900X on it and I'll be picking up one of the new chips for game performance testing going forward. So the question for you is, do you think I should go for the six, eight, or 12 core? I'm not buying a 16 core for my test bench. That's, that's a lot of money if I buy that when it's going in my personal system. But let us know down in the comment section below, what do you think is most relevant for DIY enthusiasts, six, eight, 12 cores? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section below. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.